Hey there folks, so while I could post nothing but little cut battles to this channel and be happy, I'm sure that the rest of you wouldn't, and I know that a lot of you like variation, and you know, honestly I do too. So um, today I am uploading an OU Gen 6 battle. Um, this is, there's a lot of similarities with the other team in that, number one, it's not very good, and number two, it relies on Sticky Web. Um, but my opponent is Patriots21 of Smogon, and I lead off with my Hugabug, my Galvantula. Get off the Sticky Web because I don't really see him, uh, defogging or anything like that. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Against a Galvantula, I'm not exactly sure why... Maybe it was, I don't know why he would have predicted to be switching up, though. It was a good situation for me to be in. So I go ahead and just go for Thunder Beast. I know it'll do a decent amount to um, Rotom Wash. Uh, instead, I get the Paralysis on Heatran, so okay, that's fine. I decide, you know, usually Galvancho is safe to fodder, but just in case his Skarmory runs Defog, I'd like to save it for later. So he gets par uh, paralyzed right here, and then switch in Cosmic F. And so this is, this is great for me, I can just go for the close combat. I was actually expecting him to Stealth Rock. Uh, here I go for the close combat. It does not do as much as I thought to that Rotom. That Rotom must be uh, physically defensive. Anyway, I trace, I send out Gardevoir. Uh, he goes for uh, Hydro Pump, and I'm going to have a fine opportunity to go ahead and Mega Evolve. So you might think you're using Mega Gardevoir as your Mega on your team. That's so lame. But I actually, you know, Gardevoir is one of my favorite Pokemon. It has been ever since Gen 3. Uh, I, I love it, and uh, I actually really like this set. So it's a, it's a pivot slash utility set. And you think, well, but you would be better off with Leftovers, wouldn't it? And it, it's got a lot more bulk. And Pixelate is a great ability uh, with Hyper Voice because it bypasses subs. So I actually like... Uh, yeah, uh, Pixelate, by the way, does, I, th I think, the base power or something like... 105 after Pixelate. Did the calc at one point. Anyway, so lots of switching going on here, but you know, I figure this is a fine time to fodder Galvantula, and I just go for the uh, Thunder, uh, and my opponent actually gets par paralyzed, so I'm gonna be like, let's not push my left, let's switch out, go out into Cosmic F. Um, I get off the Intimidate, whatever. Uh, and now my opponent's going to go for the Lava Plume, and the Cosmic F is gonna be burned. But that's okay, Gardevoir is a cleric, so I just have to switch in Gardevoir at some point. Probably not against Heatran, I don't think it runs the, um, any kind of steel move, but just in case. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, I remember him on top hitting a lot harder. Oh, well, okay, I'm burned, right, okay, boy. so yeah, that's why. So I got into Billy D. Williams, my Landorus, uh, Landorus, oh, never mind. Um, anyway, yeah, so, uh, Billy D. Williams goes, comes out, he withdraws his Skarmory, um, goes out into a Rotom, and look at, first of all, Focus Blast, probably the best animation of Gen 5, or Gen 6, um, and, you know, easily one-shots that, um, or not one-shots, but finishes off that, um, uh, Rotom. So, uh, he goes out into, so I, I wanted to switch out here, I wasn't sure what set it was running, whether it was Scarf or Specs or anything like that, uh, so I go ahead and, um, it probably wasn't the best switch, but I really don't have anyone to take Water-type move. well, I guess, I, um, Dragonite, but I wasn't expecting the Surf also, so, anyway, I was expecting a Steel-type move, or a Dragon-type move, in which case the Steel-type would have been a great switch in, but Gardevoir just in case he went for something else. So, um, yeah, Hugabug is still out there, Hugabug is not dead yet, and he's gonna go back out into his Heatran, which is just keep gonna, it's gonna keep taking those Thunders. Uh, you know, I do have other moves on this set besides, oh yeah, I got a crit here, so, Hax was really my favorite for the first half of this match, in somewhat of a ridiculous fashion. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna take him out with another crit, two crits in a row. That was freaking ridiculous and really stupid. So, Hugabug, I think I'm just gonna leave it in to die. I was expecting him to just K KO me, but he doesn't, and I get another paralysis. So the hacks in this game was a bit ridiculous. I completely fess up. Um, but yeah, I don't know why... Oh yeah, and he got fully paralyzed too, so that's, that's, um, fun. So, uh, yeah, gonna go out into Leda here, hoping for the Dragon-type move instead. Latios goes for Surf, and I lose my Gardevoir. Didn't really do much in this match. Oh, well, too bad. But I'm figuring it's uh, it's gotta be locked into something, so I'm gonna stay and go for Outrage! And, uh, it actually does a decent chunk to that Skarmory. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Uh, I've got no who's but to stay in, I'm locked into Outrage, maybe I should have gone, I should have probably gone for the Fire Punch given the Pokemon he had left, but in case he left in, 
In case I was wrong about that, Latios, I wanted to go for the Outrage. Anyway, here, I don't know why I didn't switch in Mawile sooner. Uh, it's, it's now Fairy-type, completely blocks my, um, my Outrage, but oh well. Whatever. Oh, he wanted to get some spikes off, so that makes sense, and he didn't think uh, Outrage would do quite as much, and once uh, Outrage hits a Fairy-type, it, it's no longer a thing. So, he goes for the Swords Dance. Cosmic Off is out here to, for one purpose only, and that's to spin. And uh, now he's going to go for Play Rough. It's going to deliver the KO, but that's great. I want Cosmic F to go down here. I go out in to puff my Magic Dragonite. Again, you know, I don't really have too many better options. Um, I figure Fire Punch should KO. It doesn't. I was really surprised. Had he gone for the... I don't know why he didn't go for the Sucker Punch here. He would have KO'd my Dragonite, and that would have been that. So no idea what my opponent was thinking. Uh, I go out now into um, Long Claw. Long Claw to take the Draco Meteor. Uh, it does not take it very well. No, sorry, it does not. Uh, and this, I figure this game is over. I figure there's no real way I can win this game. He goes out into Skarmory, and I go for the King Shield just in case, you know, just to stall out for a little bit to get some health back, because I thought Latios was going to stay in. Here I, I go for the Sacred Sword. It's not going to do very much. I was hoping it would do enough to KO. It does not. And so now we're in a very stally portion of this battle where, I, you know, he can't do anything to me. I can't really do anything to him. So yeah, this this is the so Aegislash really suffers from four move slot syndrome. I could have um, Swords Dance on the set, but if I had Swords Dance, then I couldn't have all the coverage moves that I need. So as it is, my build of Aegislash has pretty good coverage, but you know it doesn't have the ability to boost its attack. So when you're up against the wall, you're up against the wall. Uh, yeah, Berlin Wall. By the way, Berlin Wall kind of crumbled gonna say that not maybe the so why am I going for um why am I going for iron heads instead of sacred swords basically I know that nothing so he's setting up spikes I'm like why are you setting up spikes I'm not going anywhere I've only got one Pokemon left who's going to be hurt by those spikes and it's not going anywhere I'm not switching out so I thought I just thought it was really strange and meanwhile I'm recovering back all my health with leftovers um yeah so what so I didn't go for the sacred sword just in the case so that I, I could get a flinch so here I figured he was gonna attack and he went for the whirlwind I'm like oh well that was dumb of me to not realize he would just go for whirlwind that's why I set up all those spikes. Focus Blast, Mists, uh, Misses. Oh, by the way, okay, so Bra Brave Bird, probably the, the coolest animation of the game, even more than anything else. Two Focus Blasts missing is nowhere near as bad as the Crit Fest that I got earlier and the Para Fest that I got earlier. So uh, originally I said, oh, I thought the hacks was pretty balanced because that's all I was focusing on, the two Focus Misses. But, you know, not compared to that. Yeah, and by the way, the real person, the real people who suffered from that Focus Blast missing was you, the audience, because Focus Blast, again, has the coolest animation ever. So, uh, here, I don't know what I'm going to do, because I don't think I can get past the Skarmory. Uh, I go for the Iron Head, and yay, I get the flinch. A big whoop de doo He's, I think, recovering more with leftovers than I'm dealing damage. It's not quite that bad, but it's it's not great. It's, it's not great. Here he goes for the Whirlwind again. I don't know why he's not Brave Birding. It, it, he probably would have managed to KO. Um, so Puff the Magic Dragonite is out, and I think you're at that range of health. Maybe I can take it out with an Outrage, and I do! Woohoo! And so I'm pretty happy. So now he sends... So both of us have Puff Dragons, but anyway. He goes for the Draco Meteor, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon. And I figure this is probably good game. Um, I go, f I just go ahead and go for the Shadow Sneak on the off chance that I can take him out. I cannot, and he misses his Draco Meteor. And holy shit, that Hax is just going to win me the game because I'm gonna, just going to go for another Shadow Sneak. His Latios is down, and then his um, Scissor is paralyzed. And I, uh, yeah, this is just this is crazy. I go for the Sacred Sword. Uh, his scissor goes down, and that is the game. So, you know, hacks gods are fickle, and in this case they were on my side. Although, it was really a hacksy match on both sides, to be fair. So, great game, Patriot21. I hope to battle you again, and hopefully this time the odds will be more in your favor.